Aloha, thank you for tuning in to AEI's YouTube channel. Today we will be going over troubleshooting methods of your monitoring system for Solar Edge. If your PV monitoring system is down, stay calm. Although the system may not be reporting, your solar panels are likely still producing energy. If there is an issue with your monitoring system, you will be alerted by Solar Edge when logging into your online account. A question mark in parentheses will appear in your site status if there is no internet connection. An X will appear if your system is not reporting. An exclamation mark or yellow flag indicates there are other problems with your monitoring system and you will need to call AEI during regular business hours for further assistance. If there is an issue with your solar edge inverter, the display screen will not depict the code for online, which is S underscore OK. To turn on or toggle through the Solar Edge display screen, push the green button underneath your Solar Edge inverter. Your monitoring system may be affected if you've changed internet service providers, changed your Wi-Fi password, or installed a new router. Your monitoring system will be connected to the internet via wireless bridges, a Wi-Fi extender, or hardwired. If utilizing a Wi-Fi extender, please see our following video on reconfiguring your Wi-Fi extender. If using this type of Wi-Fi extender, please call AEI during regular business hours for further assistance. If hardwired, ensure your internet is working and call Alternate Energy during regular business hours for further assistance. To troubleshoot your system, you will first want to locate your internet router and ensure it is working. Now we will go over how to power cycle your wireless bridges. Follow the network cable connected from the router to bridge 1 and verify that bridge 1 is properly plugged into a wall outlet, not a surge protector or an outlet controlled by a switch. The bridges are small cubes and will function the same regardless of brand. Check the light sequence on bridge 1 to determine the issue. If all three lights are on, with some flashing steadily, you likely have a proper connection. The top light indicates power, the middle, bridge communication, and the bottom, network communication. When lit, the top light indicates the bridge is powered on. When lit or blinking, the middle light means the two bridges are successfully communicating with each other. If the middle light is out, simply unplug the bridge from the wall outlet for a few seconds, then plug it directly back in to power cycle the device. If the middle light does not come on after power cycling the bridge, you will need to locate the box outside near your solar edge inverter containing bridge 2. Bridge 2 may be inside a bubble box, junction box, or a comms box, which may be labeled photovoltaic electrical load only. If your system doesn't consist of one of these boxes, please call AEI during regular business hours. You will likely need a screwdriver to open the junction box and comms box. Once inside the box, you'll find bridge 2. Check to see if the bridge is receiving power by verifying whether the power button is lit or not. If no power is present, press the test and then the reset button on the electrical outlet inside the box. If the bridge 2 is still not receiving power, check to see whether the lowest amp breaker switch is in the off or on position. If in the off position, flip the switch to on. Your circuit breaker box or breakout panel containing the breaker switch should be located near the AC disconnect switch and labeled photovoltaic power source. The breaker switch may be labeled EMU or outlet. Once bridge 2 is properly powered, try power cycling the device as you did bridge 1 by unplugging bridge 2 from the outlet for a few seconds and then plug it directly back in. The device should now reset and prompt the middle light on. If successful, within 10 to 15 minutes, the display screen on your Solar Edge inverter will now depict the online display. The status of your Solar Edge account online will also change to a green check mark. If the device has not successfully reconnected to the server, determine if the light configuration has changed. If the top light indicator is out, even though bridge 2 is connected to a live outlet, the bridge may be defective and will need to be replaced. Upon determining the light configuration, should the top two lights be lit and the third not lit, you can try rebooting the router and modem. To do so, simply unplug the power cable from the router and modem for 30 seconds. Plug back in the modem and then the router. Both devices will reboot after one to two minutes. 
ensure that you are not using a network switch. If the middle light on either bridge is still out, you can try pairing your bridges. Plug both bridges into the same outlet and press the pair button on bridge 1 for 2 or 3 seconds and then release it. The power light on the bridge 1 will start blinking. Upon releasing bridge 1's pair button, press the pair button on bridge 2 for 2 to 3 seconds and then release it. The top light and middle light on the bridges will blink, indicating that they are trying to pair with each other. Observe the light status on both bridges. If the top and middle indicators are lit, the bridge connection has been successfully created. Once the bridges have been paired, plug bridge 1 back into an outlet near the router and plug bridge 2 back into the box outside. Special note, once your SolarEdge system is back online, your account will continue to show no data until all of the energy production that was stored in the SolarEdge inverter has completely streamed over to the SolarEdge website. Depending on the amount of data to be streamed over, it may take hours or days for all the data to update. Check your system periodically. The longer the monitoring system is offline, the more production data will be lost. Please call AEI during regular business hours for further assistance.